What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day here in Mississippi. Matco Michael's here, so let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Got it cool on here. Yeah, I've had the air conditioner going. Feels uh, good. I normally try not to have it on this early, but it's already getting hot out there, so. Yep. It's full blown summertime, ain't it? Well, they always said if you want hot, come to Mississippi during August, so I guess we knew it was coming. I was just hoping it would wait a little while longer. Man, it's but hot. If it didn't, then I'd been complaining that it was too cold, so I guess I'll just take it as I can I guess man I can put on coats I can't take off but so much that's why I look at it yeah I don't know I I like summertime I know it's hot but at least I ain't uh, having to work in jackets or anything which I mean I've done both but man you have sold some tools that chef you narrowed it down to yeah we uh Sold some wrenches and an impact that was there. Been a, been a pretty good week as far as selling tools for, for what it's been, but uh, sold the roll cart that was here. Um, so we making room for more inventory to come in, that's for sure. I think I've got two more sales this year um, that I can take advantage of, so we're gonna there definitely go. do it, but whatever it takes to, to make it. We like it when you get deals that'll on right. sale it saves us money too well that's you know that's what i normally try to do i uh i got to sit down tonight and put in another order for some more stuff um but that's just one of those things this week also has been i have sold more cordless this week seems like it comes in waves on yeah. how that happens but this week has definitely been one of those weeks where it's been a cordless week that's good I'm okay with that. Uh, <laughs> well, have you got anything new and well, what exciting? I'm what I'm showing this week is actually the high-speed quarter-inch uh, electric ratchet. Okay. Um, being that cordless has been what's so popular this week, um, I didn't realize how many people, you know, for a while we were going three-eighths, half-inch. That's mm -hmm. where we stayed. Everybody was kind of moving away from quarter. I sold a lot of quarter stuff this week. Uh, and and also your impact drivers as far as like your bits and stuff. Yeah. Um, which like I said, it comes in waves, so I don't know what made quarter inch and bit drivers so popular this week, but whatever it was, I enjoyed it. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, That's this good. has been this has been a while a long uh, out for a while now. Um, but you know it's it's almost like people forget. So. Uh, the high speed part of it is what everybody's been liking this week. Um, Let me get y'all a part number. Yeah, right there. So that's a 16, no, that's a 12. This is a 12, okay. yeah. Um, like I said, it's been out for a while. All the newer stuff that they're coming out with is going to the 16 volt, um, but we still got 12 volt around, so. Uh, as soon as they come out with it in 16 volt, people will be ready to buy that too. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I like the fact that the head's small. We've talked about that on the uh, extended reach as well. Right. Um, I have people who really like the extended reach, but they also don't want to use the extended reach all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's good to also have a short one here. But uh, the high speed, you know, everybody for a long time compared the speed to like the snap on. Everybody liked the mm -hmm. speed on it. And they didn't care to lose a little bit of torque to have that speed. Cause I think we actually, that was one of the, last year or the year before, that was something that they asked, you know, are you willing to lose torque for speed? And everybody said, yeah, we'll lose a little torque for speed. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, because we've all we've talked about it every time we talk about a lace ratchet. Everybody's gonna just finish it out with the right. with the Manual. hand anyway. So you know, it go it goes faster than our other ones would, um, which is great because most of the time you're not using these necessarily for the breakaway power. You're using right. these to hurry up and get it out, or hurry up mm -hmm. and get it down. It's I mean yeah, it's it's nice if when you're doing a a valve cover bolt or whatever you may do, be doing. If you can run it down and, and it snug it, you know, and you can just check it with a ratchet, that's great. But you're not really trying to get to a final torque here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great if it does it, but uh, you're just trying to run it down real quick. So that speeds up those jobs for those people that's- Well, how much is that one supposed to break away on its own? Uh, let's look and see. Uh, it's maximum torque is 30 foot pounds. So uh, it looks like manual torque with stand is 50. Um, now we know that our three eighths long reach manual torque uh, is 150 foot pounds. So uh, if you was wanting that extra ump, I, I would say definitely this is something tens and twelves. If you're starting to do the caliper bolts and stuff like that, you'd want the three eighths for sure to be able to do them. But you know, valve cover bolts and, and dash jobs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. interior work. Um, if we if we can't get a regular impact in there, you know, like the one you bought, the orange one that you bought, if we can't get it, this is this is a lot smaller. It'll get in there and we can get it done. So, what about are, the? Can we compare the head size to a? Yeah. Like I know this is a three eighths. Here's a quarter. This, this will be easier. I got one right here. Oh, you do? Yeah. So it's still going to be bigger as far as the regular quarter inch ratchet. But it's not going to be, you know. But y'all's, you know, y'all's ratchets, your regular ratchets are so thin anyway, you know. Yeah, it's, they're super thin. What about the other way, this way? Uh, you talking about like, how are you talking about? Like back to back. Oh, like that? Like the width wise. It's actually a lot closer there than it was on the other way around. Right. That's pretty close right there. So, yeah. I know that's what made me a big fan of the Matco ratchet. So I was working on a job and I couldn't get nothing yeah. else in there. Remember the first time I come and had you order that, it was a regular quarter inch straight head ratchet. Yeah. Well, I've, we've, you've bought a lot of Matco ratchets, but yeah. Um, the side, the the thickness on the, the long reach, I don't know if I sold that or if that's, That's, this is actually the 16 sealed head. Uh, it's smaller too, isn't it? Uh, that's what we're fixing to look at. I haven't compared it. Uh, There's your part number on the sealed head one. Oh, this is the one that I... <clears throat> I've had a lot of people talk about how they like the selector switch on the sealed head better than... The selector switch is better. Um, this one here is actually one that I repoed which the guy knew I was coming to repo it, so you know I didn't get it back like it was supposed to, but either way. Uh, when I went and repoed this one, I gotta send it, I send it in to get repaired. When he heard that I was coming to get it repoed, he actually put it in the bias and broke it, but either way, it's okay. The selector switch is down here on this one. Mm -hmm. So it actually, I, I like that better than this here. Right. Because over time, I don't care what brand it is, over time, this is gonna get mm -hmm. hard to switch. But one of my snap-ons, I actually have to take a pair of pliers and turn it, because yep. it's, just, it's just hard, you know? Well, and I've actually, I've had some success with um, both, taking both, I've took a snap-on a couple of times apart, and I've took some macos apart, and actually getting some grease, take this actually out, the head out, and get mm -hmm. some grease in there, and it frees it up, but. It, it don't take long and it's right back to kind of hard to swap. So that is one of the downfalls to that, that style. Um, so I would agree with whoever said that, that they like this switch better. Right. I definitely agree, I like it better. Um, I don't think the head's really that much. Like I said, he put this one in a vice. That one's a three eighths, right? Or is that a quarter? Two? This is gonna be a quarter, but I mean, it's it's real close to the same there. Mm -hmm. But they, we, 
somebody suggested coming out with a sealed head and it was a big topic for a while so when they finally did those sold like crazy um, which like I said it, it's electrical season I guess because it's all selling but uh, the 16 volt they definitely last longer and got a little bit more ump behind them and everything like that so this one went from 30 to 42 foot pounds so it went up on that as well let's see the other one was what 30 30 yeah yeah so a couple of different electric tools there cool deal well have you heard any updates on the blue tools i know we touched on the new email that you got last week i've actually been uh i had a family issue that happened so i've kind of been in and out this week so i haven't looked at my emails or anything um we were actually at a hospital uh, monday and then i took tuesday off and so we've been it's not it's not with like it's my mother she had mm -hmm. uh she had to have emergency heart surgery oh no so yeah she actually got uh she went to the er here in bloomville and she actually got they told her she wouldn't make it to tupelo by ambulance so they flew her from bloomville to tupelo they almost lost her at the hospital a couple times they almost lost her on the helicopter so they took her straight into the emergency room and now they go through your wrist, but they went through her wrist and put a stent in her main uh, artery. They called it a widowmaker or something like that. So she doing okay? She is now. Um, but like Monday, that all I was I worked to dinner and got the call that she's being took to the ER. So I come home, found out you know she's not strong enough to make it to Tupelo and the ambulance and all that. So of course they loaded her in a helicopter and took off and I got with my dad and we went down there so we pretty I'm, I pretty much stood in the parking lot uh, till six or seven I come home got him some clothes and went back which because of COVID they only let one person in mm -hmm. the hospital so if he would have left he couldn't have went back in so we let him stay up there of course but yeah they they said with the with the widow makers they say that you normally don't make it to the hospital so Wow, but they were actually good. able to, to go in. It and, you know. Well, yeah, um, just in time, I guess, because, yeah. I mean, as many times as they her blood pressure bottomed out and everything else, and they had to give her all kind of medicine to get it back up, and then they were going to try to give her some on the helicopter, but she went back out, so they couldn't. So luckily the doctor was able to go in and get a stand in, and which now, he, I mean, there's always damage, right, but they mm -hmm. said it was minimum, so... Well, that's good. Hopefully, she'll bounce back. And yeah, she's going to have to take it easy for a while. Yeah. Um, but that's, I mean, that's to be expected. Mm -hmm. I was, it's kind of cool to see how they do the, you can't even really tell where they went in on her wrist. I mean, there's not like a long scar or nothing. Wow. It's just like a little scratch. But, I mean, she's bruised. You can tell mm -hmm. where they went in because she's bruised. But That's pretty amazing how they can do that kind of stuff. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, there's, I've got scratches on me that's bigger than what, she has on her wrist where they went in i'm like that's good literally in a couple of days you won't even be able to tell they went there but now we're just trying to figure out i didn't realize how i don't know if it's scared or how unwilling doctors are to tell you a good blood pressure yeah because for the last three days we've been trying to get a hold of somebody to tell us what a good blood pressure is because mm -hmm. i've always heard it was 120 over 80 well it yeah but you, you know, I think it really varies depending on the person. You know, we'll and their see, age and, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, one twenty over eighty, they consider perfect. But what we were asking is because, see, even after she was on high blood pressure medicine before this, well, even after the surgery and her blood pressure was running, you know, instead of running in the high one sixties, they were running one a hundred over something, or there was even times that it was running ninety over something. Wow. We were asking when do we when do we get worried and take mm -hmm. her back to the doctor? And they were like, well, you know, we don't know. Uh, that's a pretty good blood pressure. And it's like, okay, well, when do we get worried? And we couldn't really get an answer. So we talked to several different nurses and doctors and all of them would look at the blood pressure and go, well, that's pretty good for you. And, but they would never tell us. Yeah, you you kind of want that number, like okay, when it hits this, yeah. that's when you need when, to. So we so we actually finally got somebody to say, look, you know, 
her her actual regular doctor that she normally goes to um, said, look, if it drops below, the top number drops below 90, and I think they, I may be wrong on this, but I think they said the bottom number if it drops below 60. And so she called me yesterday, and, and or she was sending me the blood pressure and text message, and it was like 84 over something. Wow. But see, they still had her on her high blood pressure medicine. Yeah. And so we finally, I called yesterday and talked to the, the cardiologist office, and they, I talked to them at like 10, and they said they were going to call me back. Well, then they called me back about 1, and we gave them all the blood pressure readings and all the medicine that she was on. And they called me just before 5 yesterday and said that they wanted to take her off the high blood pressure because it was too low. So they did confirm that if it She'll goes below. She'll probably feel better, too, when her blood pressure goes back up to I'm sure. To uh, I'm sure she already feels better than what she did. You yeah. know, they say that, that the, the type of blockage that she had, uh, like I said, they called it a widowmaker, but they said it normally gives no signs. So wow. I'm, she's she's always felt tired for the last year. You know, she's felt tired all the time, and she's got COPD, so it's hard to breathe anyway. Um, but luckily, they got that fixed. So I'm sure once she gets over it, which I think she's aggravated right now because she can't do what she wants to do. Mm. You know, she normally she, she might normally be outrunning you when her blood pressure gets back up to normal. Well, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> uh, she I'm gonna tell you to. that generation is way tougher than like every year. Our every generation, it seems like it gets diluted a little more. Uh, it got diluted but, a whole lot here, I think, recently. Which, I mean, I know there's going to be good ones out there, but I don't know. But, yeah. Like, when I look back at, like, my grandfather and my great-grandfather, yeah. man, them were men back then. <laughs> like, people can claim to be men now, but those were men back then. Yeah, you know? uh, I don't know. It was definitely a different Tough. time. But you, you got to remember, too, that that's back when they were... I'm not not that we all don't work for what we have or whatever, but I mean that they were out in fields most mm -hmm. of the day, all day. If it broke, they fixed it immediately. Yeah. You know, like I remember my grandfather, like he worked, work, you know, yeah, and like driving post with by hand, you know, and stretching barbed wire and like and you don't realize physical how hard, that hard is. labor. Yeah, and he would be up at like four in the morning. Now he went to bed, you know, not long after it got dark. Yeah, you know, it got like dark in the summertime, bed, it yeah. was like nine o'clock. He was gone, you know. But yeah. Man, he, I can't, I couldn't do what he did. There ain't no way. Well, I know. Uh, speaking of, you know, doing the post and stuff, you don't realize how hard, hard that is until you go try to dig out there right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I know when we was putting our pool up, and I had to dig that trench. Like it was probably, well, the pipe that I bought was a hundred feet, but it was, you know, it's curved, so it's mm -hmm. not actually. I mean, I guess it is a hundred feet, but it's not straight. But anyways. I thought, oh, that won't be hard to dig. I ain't got to dig that deep. I just got to have like a slight slant. It's just mm -hmm. got to be under, yeah. I you have up, a pick or was you doing it all with a shovel? I was doing it with a shovel and then I went and yeah. bought a pick and then I was like this. That's still some work with a pick. Well, I ended up saying screw it all. And my dad come over and of course, um, he was getting ready for hip surgery so he couldn't do a Man, whole lot. He should have called me. would have took my tractor and would have put a metal buster behind it and I needed the tractor too because I don't know if you ever spread <laughs> sand, bad. but good God, that yeah, sucked too. Bad. And see, I was gonna, I was gonna get a rent a tractor from a place, and they didn't want to rent me a tractor because they said it's not what I needed. I don't know, but that's what I needed to spread the sand. But yeah. either way, I ended up going to rent a trencher, and uh, we just used the trencher. Yeah. And that's a lot deeper than it had to be, but hey, I mean, it works, right? At that's that point, easy. <laughs> I've done decided that if it messes up and I need to do it again, I'm going to rent a trencher from the start. But, there you go. You know, either way. <laughs> but no, um, but I guess off of that long side story, um, I just haven't paid a whole lot of attention to emails. I've been, yeah, uh, which we've still had a pretty good week. We've had a busy week, but I've also been mentally other places mm -hmm. trying to get stuff done. And then um, Leslie's in that school, so... Uh, it's just been trying to get everything that she needs and then everything else so yeah but is it virtual or like it is virtual okay. yeah well, she good. uh well that's really that's good because which now it used to be a two-week class and this one's actually a week long so that's even better but when i did it i had to go to stow mm -hmm. uh, which was it, it's a good experience it really is in a way i hate she misses out on that because you right. you know you it, it's nice to be in the classroom you mm -hmm. can't get distracted 
you know, she's sitting in the class with two kids right now at yeah. home. I'm sure she's getting distracted some, but she's she's been out on the truck. If she hadn't ever been on the truck and was going to it, uh, if she was starting her own route, I'd probably wait until it went back in classroom and, and mm -hmm. sent her. That way there'd been no, just, you know, distractions or anything. But, yeah, I think she finishes up today. And cool. So. So next week she'll be able to run the show. Yeah. She... You never know. She may be running the show, and I may be watching the kids next week. We or to just sit here and drink beer and let you hold the camera and video her. Uh -huh. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Either way. Uh, she, she probably will be off of, uh, a couple of videos for a little while that my mom gets better yeah. and everything. So. Well, hopefully that'll, but, that'll resolve and she'll bounce back and be better than ever. And Well, you know, we, we questioned that doctor. I'm sure he hated all the questions that we, because I just kept, obviously I wasn't up in the hospital, so I kept texting my dad or calling him you know make sure they did the diet test make sure they did this make sure they did the diet test i mean i probably he probably asked if they did the diet test four times but we were no. just wanting to make sure because every time i've heard somebody of having a blockage they always have multiple blockages mm -hmm. especially when it comes to the point of life or death right yeah you know usually by that point there's there's three or four or five i don't mm -hmm. know how many there usually is but um i said that it was all it's working like it should i mean Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, run an engine without oil for a little while and mm -hmm. see what happens. But, you know, but yeah, which she watches the videos every Saturday morning, so she'll probably kill me for mentioning it, but oh well. <laughs> well, hopefully, she'll be back 110%. Yeah, in yeah. No time. I know she don't like the diet. I mean, I don't <laughs> know if you've ever seen the food that they want you to eat after you get oh, heart surgery, yeah. but... My dad, it was bad. I don't know that you can call some of it food, but hey, whatever. <laughs> I, if it don't have no taste, I don't think it's food. I think it's just a substance at that point. Uh, that's true. Got to do what you got to do, though. That's right. All right, guys. Y'all make sure to uh, wish Mama Matco a speedy recovery down there in the comments. And like always, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes are down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. But new links in the description for Nepros, y'all check them out. See ya.